Hi friend, in this video I will show you how to remove DRM protection from Kindle books without needing a Kindle serial number. This is an important distinction as in one of my previous videos I demonstrated a method that required your Kindle serial number. If you have a Kindle device linked to your Amazon account, that video may be more helpful for you. I will link that video in the top right corner here and in the description below. But if you don't want to use a serial number, this guide is for you. For this video, we will go through a slightly different process using the Kindle for PC or Kindle for Mac application. A few things to mention before we go ahead. Firstly, the process will remove DRM from books that use Amazon DRM, Adobe Digital's Edition DRM, and Barnes & Noble DRM. I've tested it specifically with Amazon purchased books and I was successful in removing DRM protection from all of my books, whether they are old purchases or the ones that were recently purchased like this year or last year. Secondly, this process requires a Windows or Mac computer. I've tested it on my Mac laptop as I don't have a Windows machine. Thirdly, this process works using the Amazon KFX format and is working as of today. That being said, Amazon changes the DRM protection for KFX files quite frequently. What works for KFX files today may not work in the future. If this process stops working and there's a new way to remove DRM protection, I will update the description of this video and create a new video with most up-to-date steps. Lastly, I spent multiple hours making sure this video is simple and easy to follow. If this video helped you remove DRM protection and you'd like to support this work, please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. With this out of the way, let's start with the steps. Step one is to install Calibre and necessary plugins. In this step, you need to install the latest version of the Calibre application. The link is in the description. Once Calibre is installed, Follow the links from the description to download the DDRM and KFX input plugins. Don't forget to unzip the DDRM downloaded file, which you don't have to do for the KFX input plugin. To install these two plugins into Calibre, open the Calibre application, go to Preferences, then go to Plugins under the Advanced section. Here, click Load Plugins from File Navigate to the downloaded DDRM plugin zip file and hit open. Once installed, do the same for the KFX input zip file. Once done, restart Calibre, go to plugins again and select show only user instant plugins and make sure the necessary plugins are there. Great job! Step 2 is to install the Kindle for PC or Kindle for Mac application. Here, we need to install all the version of the application. For Windows users, you need to install Kindle for PC version 2.4.0, which is also known as 2.4.70904. For Mac users, you need to install Kindle for Mac version 1.40.1, build 65626. Check the description for the download links to these specific versions. Once installed, it is very important that these versions are not updated. To make sure of that, open the Kindle for PC or Kindle for Mac app, go to Preferences, then go to Updates and uncheck the Automatically Install Updates when they are available without asking me option. There are reports of forced updates even when this box is unchecked. This is apparently common for Windows users. To prevent this, follow the article in the description where one of the users created a bat file to disable such forceful updates. I'm not gonna go through the details of that process. You will essentially need to read the article, download and run the bat file on your Windows. Once everything is done, we are ready for step three. Let's download our purchased books. Open your Kindle for PC or Kindle for Mac application, go to preferences, then general, and review the location of the content folder. This is where our downloaded books are stored. Open a new folder tab and go to that location. I like to have it open and visible while I download the books. Return to the Kindle app, 
right click on the book you purchased and select download. Within our content folder you will see a new folder with a unique ASIN number and underscore ebook suffix added to it. That's the book we just downloaded. Open that folder and look for the AZW file. Step 4 is to convert our downloaded book. Open the Calibre application, simply drag the AZW file into Calibre. The DDRM plugin will automatically remove DRM protection. Once finished, you will see your book in Calibre in KFX format. Well done. Right click on that book, select convert book individually and convert it to MOBI, PDF or the format that suits you best. Once the job is done, Double click on the book to make sure it opens fine in Calibre. If you're having issues with converting the book, check the following first. Make sure your Kindle for PC or Kindle for Mac application is on the older version and didn't get forcefully updated to a newer version. If that's the case, reinstall it with the older version provided in the description of this video. Secondly, Check the DDRM plugin website for a newer version of the DDRM plugin. If available, remove the old one, install the newer one, restart Calibre and try again. If the above doesn't work, it is possible that the book in question has much higher DRM protection that cannot be removed with this method. Some Kindle books come with extra strength encryption that these tools simply cannot handle. I hope this video helped you remove DRM protection from your purchased books. If it did, please hit that like button and leave a comment letting us know so we can make sure this process is still works and is still up to date. Again, if this process changes drastically in the future, I will release a new video to let you know about it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!